Hello, I wanted to give you a brief explanation of what we've been working on with the first couple of drawings. In drawing one, you had to count the number of squares in the plan and then count that same number of squares after you had set the grid spacing in AutoCAD. You had to count those same number of squares on the screen. So it's a very rudimentary kind of drafting. We're just copying exactly what we see. With drawing two, we stepped up our game a little bit, and now we are counting the squares on the plan, but now we're using them as relative coordinates on the command line window, which requires, because its default is absolute, requires that we put the at symbol in front of all of our coordinate pairs. <clears throat> and we know that going to the right or going up is a positive number, going to the left or going down is a negative number. Uh, same in surveying, west and south are negative and north and east are positive. But now we're going to be going into something a little bit different. Now you are presented with a drawing that does not have grids. It actually has the relative lengths between points, in other words, the lengths of each side of the polygon. So what I've asked you to do is say, okay, the largest polygon, bottom left corner, is origin, zero, zero. So now, in your book, write down what are the absolute coordinates of all the other corners. And so that is something that you had to do uh, before you could go into AutoCAD because now we're using the dynamic input and we're inputting absolute coordinates which of course requires the number sign because the dynamic input defaults as, as uh, relative coordinates. So I'm just trying to reinforce not only what each environment, each uh, coordinate input environment requires or defaults to, but also to get you thinking about the difference between relative and absolute coordinates. So get ready for a drawing three. Good luck.